So this workout was brought to you by Dark Swan Supplements. <laughs> In today's dark swan visual, Casey's taking China through a killer back workout that zeroes in on the rhomboids, those key muscles for perfect posture. Casey's gonna break down each move with precision and share the best tips on form to help you crush it and see max results. Let's get after it. The form is on these is something that people don't get right a whole lot of times. So you'll see people that'll take their, their arms and they'll pull like way down here to their chest. Lats are actually something that you're gonna lean back just a little bit on. And notice the way China's pulling down, she's driving those elbows forward and pulling to her collarbone. So we'll start off at the top, the top end, like 15 reps. As we progress in the weight, we'll get a little bit closer to that 10. Four set, if we don't quite make it to 10, that's okay. I'm just looking for failure. When I get to the top, I'm pulling all the way back up, letting it reset, stretch that lat out, and re-engaging to drive that down. When I get to the top, I'm pulling all the way back up, letting it reset, stretch that lat out, and re-engaging to drive that down. Perfect. And then we start adding a little bit wide grip on these. So she's way out here outside of her body, so that we're really opening up the wings out here. You can see it right here. She's, she's done an awesome job training with me. I don't want you to be slinging the weight on these. I'm controlling down, I'm controlling up, I'm controlling it at the top when I reset with each one, pausing for a second at the back, taking all the momentum out of it. And then we keep, we increase the weight from there as long as you're able to keep that form. This is not like powerlifting. We want to control the weight. We're bodybuilding. We're doing this to accentuate features to make sure that we're just targeting these lats on these wide grip. My goal is by the fourth set, she can't get 15 anymore. on her she only got 12 on those last ones i still want her to get as close to 10 as possible if not at least 10. keep it under control so even as the weight increases i want her to be able to control her motion especially on the way back up not to let that weight pull her it's like with anything else in life we want to be able to control it the way that we react to the weight the way that we react to things that are going on in life that's where we change, how well we control it. All right, we're gonna switch these to a close grip handle. So we're still gonna be targeting lats, but now we're gonna start incorporating some traps, some rhomboids in with it. All right. Let's start back at 60 on these. I'm gonna do the same rep range on these though, 10 to 15 reps. Increase the only weight each time. 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Kind of lean back slightly, pull into the top of the chest. Perfect. Good squeeze, elbows tucked in. Good, and squeeze. Perfect. This is kind of where we start to warm with the rhomboids. Rhomboids are super, super important and I think people think back and they're like, all right, traps, lats. Um, but your rhomboids sit here in the center and that's where a lot of your power comes from. Not just your power, but it can help correct. Like if you sit at a desk all day, so you're leaned over, hunched over like this, it helps straighten your posture up for women that are a little bit heavier chested. This is super important. Sophia, my daughter, she has scoliosis. So rhomboids are something that can help stabilize her spine there. So the stronger those muscles are, the better control you have, the better your posture is gonna be the less you're going to have the tendency to want to lean over like this, whether it be a doctor or a nurse that's working like this all day or at a desk or just being heavy or chested there. So it helps keep everything pulled up right, good posture. Just display some confidence because your rhomboids are so strong. Adjuring. So I got a pencil back there in between my shoulder blades that I'm trying to squeeze in on. 
squeeze, and then release. Five more. Pounds. Got tired on that one. How many did you get? Ten? Okay. We're gonna do double and singles on these today. We're gonna to start with the doubles. We're gonna do three sets, eight to 10 reps. Then we're gonna break off and do singles. And we'll do three sets of 15 reps on each arm on those. So starting with them together. So I'm gonna have her take it here on the inside, like we were doing your traditional dumbbell row, leaning over onto the platform. So my back is kind of arched, chest is up, and you're just pulling back. I want her to hold at the top for one, and then release. When I release, I'm kind of rounding back over the bench here, and then pulling back up. So we're gonna do eight to, eight to 12 reps on those. So this gym 80 row is actually targeting lats, rhomboids, and some trap. And as you can see, that 10 pounds feels like a lot more than 10 pounds from this angle. Look at that stretch she's getting there. Good, elongating the muscle. We're gonna add a smidge more weight on there. <laughs> I'm gonna find some fives. Four, good. Let me squeeze my finger back here. Come on, one more. Ten, good. Nice job. How many did you get, China? Ten? Ten? Okay, we're gonna change that five out for a ten. I like your dark swan. Reagan's got on a shirt. Let me see. <laughs> Good. Feels like way more than 20, doesn't it? <sighs> 15 on these, I'm going to drop us back down to 10 and then we'll build off of that. Or stay there, just depending on how it feels. We're going to switch these off to singles because when you do doubles, you engage a little bit more rhomboid on the together movement. So we're able to kind of let lats take over when we break it up and do them single like this. So you're going to grab it in the same place, same position, just one arm at a time, getting a better stretch on it because you're able to come down on one side and then pull them back up. Behind the scenes. <laughs> All right. Going up. Your form was just so good. 90% of the people that come to us come to us for weight loss. We do live in Mississippi. It's a little more common. Um, China has a super high metabolism though and wanted to put on muscle. So that's always a little bit more fun for us, a little more challenging because um, you get to you get to overfeed and then you're able to, to grow from that standpoint. You can come through, Tammy. Come on. One more. Yeah, I think that felt good. <laughs> nice job. Moving on, re-racking your weights, good gym etiquette. I mean, you could not do this and help the gym earn $15 for every offense. 
you want to make that kind of donation, feel free to. I'll put your weights up for 15 bucks. You said 15 bucks a pound? 15, I mean, 15 bucks uh, for each a piece of equipment. I mean, if you want to get really bad with it, I might start charging $15 per plate. Put things back the way you found them. Get ready for the next person. Respect, responsibility, accountability for not doing it. All of those things. Traditionally, an underhand row. I'm not going to do it this way because we're a little deep into our back workout. My biceps are starting to take over because my back's getting tired. So instead of pulling down this way where you get a lot more bicep engagement, I'm actually going to turn my hands outward to refocus on my lats. Coming into it here, letting it get a nice stretch. Kind of like let my shoulders relax down into it so I can feel that lat. And then pulling back, keeping my chest up. Girl, you see me sweating over here? My dark swan has turned up. Last set. Did I mention that China here is also a uh, DARE pre-workout user? So this workout was brought to you by Dark Swan Supplements. <laughs>